Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we'll be comparing Ford's 6.8 liter gas V8 to their 7.3 liter gas V8 to see which one is best. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton for giving me some time with both the trucks. I'll include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. I'll also include a link to my car buying guide. Let's get into it. So powering the first truck is the 6.8 liter gas V8 that goes through a 10 speed. It produces 405 horsepower and then 445 pound feet of torque. And then the second truck has the 7.3 gas V8, also goes through a 10 speed. It produces 430 horsepower and then 475 pound feet of torque. Before we move forward with this comparison, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So I do want to mention this comparison isn't perfect. Uh, that truck is an XLT, that one is an STX. So not necessarily the most comparable specs. Uh, and then another thing to mention, you notice that the front wheels are lined up, but then if we pop to the back, doo -doo -doo, the back wheels are not lined up because this one has the longer bed. This one has the standard bed. But I mean, all the features are pretty much the same. Like they both have bed liner. You probably noticed we've got the steps here and then also the side steps as well. Um, and let's see if the leaf springs look any different. So there's the 7.3. And then here's the, yeah they do. There's the 6.8. Now just to make sure, F250, F250. So let's see what the payload difference is between the two engines. So I'm trying to be careful so I don't hit the other truck. Uh, so gross vehicle weight rating. I'm gonna have to like squeeze in here. Give me a second. Okay, so 3481 and then 10,600 for the gross vehicle weight rating. Had to kind of like really squeeze back here, uh, but that's on the 7.3. And now popping over the 6.7, I've got plenty of room to open up the door bunch. <laughs> or 6.7, I mean 6.8, sorry. Uh, 3750 and then 10,500. So pretty similar with those specs. And then let's quickly look at the uh, pricing. We're gonna focus on the engine pricing. So you guys can see 6.8, $1,700 credit on this one, XLT. Um, again, not the best comparison, but 65,000 is the MSRP on this truck. And then over here with the 7.3, um, you guys can see that it's a $1,700 charge. So you get a credit with the 6.8, you get a charge. Now again, it could be that on this, the 6.8 standard, I'm pretty sure, and then the 7.3 is an upcharge, whereas on that, the 7.3 is standard and the 6.8 is a credit. So I, I think it, that's probably what it is. So really there's just a $1,700 price difference between them. Yeah, 64,000 I think that's more realistic. So with that being said, let's take both of these trucks out, drive them and see which engine performs the best. And yeah. Setting off in the 6.8 gas V8, resetting fuel economy. See what we end up getting with this pretty toasty day today. How hot today? 106 degrees? Wow. I was like, I'm feeling <laughs> slightly sluggish. Man. But you know what I will say? 106 degrees, it's basically like, you know, some people pay to, you know, for saunas. Some people pay to have saunas put in their house. Just work outside. Boom. Free sauna. The poor man's sauna. You might get a little bit sunburned, but you know, it's okay. It is what it is. We'll say so far the 6.8 performing pretty, pretty well. Look at that. Cutting across Kia. Just zooming. It's got like a nice little rumble to it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the Kia still, they cut across again to this lane. They're like, I am not happy with where I am at. Yeah, good power. So far. And when you read Ford's description of this engine, talk about how it's all about 
low end torque. Shit feels pretty torquey on the low end. And by the way, sorry if I said six seven in this video at all. I keep obviously you got the six seven power stroke, six eight. But point one liter, it makes a difference. Oh yeah, it's a hot rod engine, that's for sure. 10 speeds very quick. Smooth power. Pretty solid. Pretty darn solid. I'm wondering if the ride quality, I mean, it doesn't, it feels pretty normal for a Super Duty. But I'm wondering if it'd be different from other Super Duties because of the weight of this engine versus other engines. Really not too shabby. Hubcap key is back. <laughs> Keep giving it new names. Yeah, I really do like the power with this. It's it's very muscle car-like, but obviously it's a truck. So we'll say muscle truck. Yeah, it really does have good low-end torque. Yeah, it's it's a very smooth power band that this truck has. I think they've done a good job with that. Man, I think this is probably the smoothest drive I've had where I've just gotten green lights and... I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'll jinx myself now and it'll be red, red, red. But that was pretty... Pretty smooth. Ah, oh, there we go. The red light of doom. Yeah, we're, I'm wondering why Ford's trying to... It seems like they're trying to push this engine more because... You know, like I said, upon initial release, I'm pretty sure you could only get it in an XL. And now you can get it in an XLT. But it's only... Again, it's, it's $1,700. It's not a big... I mean, with how expensive the overall truck is, it's like, that's not a huge difference. I guess I'm just trying to figure out the application for the 6.8, other than saving a couple bucks. I guess if it was a lot torquier than the 7.3. Has less torque overall, but maybe like where it produces in the power band. If it were to produce it, you know, lower down it's the Mustang mock me haha see what I did there but yeah, smooth it'll be interesting to see the final fuel economy reading too obviously not the biggest test on the planet but you know better than nothing so we're coming up to the Close and twelve point bum ba dum twelve point seven twelve point seven hmm interesting so overall twelve point six now six eight not a not a bad engine but I gotta I gotta try to figure out why this thing exists. Well, let us, <clears throat> excuse me, let us set off in the 7.3. And then afterwards, I'm going to the watering hole. And by the watering hole, I mean the drinking fountain. This is Utah, we don't have real watering holes. And of course the golf cart blocks me. <laughs> so, interesting. 
Yeah, I think the 6.8 is torquier on the low end. We'll see once I get up and move, like on the road, but... Interesting. Very interesting. That could be the difference between these two engines. I guess we'll see fuel economy too, if it's any different, but... Yeah, the first thing I'm noticing is... I mean, this has, again, the torque, the, uh, you know, top of the line torque figure is higher, but it seems like the low end torque on this isn't quite as much. Strange. I will say just as rumbly. It's got good torque. But yeah, it doesn't have that same, it seems like it's more revy, rev happy. This, this has 30 more pound-feet of torque. Yeah, that's so strange. Let's see if the acceleration feels any different. Sounds cool. Doesn't really feel any faster, oddly enough. Again, 30 more horsepower and 30 more pound-feet of torque. Hmm. It's not bad. It's solid. just doesn't really feel as different as you'd think. Yeah, so far I like the drive with it. I like the power and everything. It just doesn't seem like the 7.3 feels any, like there's any benefit or any difference with this versus the 6.8. Man, that minivan is hauling. I've noticed that lately. People in minivans are maniacs. Nobody drives more aggressively and nobody drives faster than someone in a minivan, I swear. I wonder if the fuel economy is going to be like that. That'll be the big differentiating factor. Because so far driving it, it just doesn't, I don't know. Really doesn't feel. And like I said, low end torque's good with this. The transmission's still smooth. That's weird though, if, if the 6.8 does have kind of more low end torque, why would Ford make it less powerful? Why would they, why would they not have it flip flop where it's like, oh, you want, you know, the less expensive engine, well, it's not going to have as much torque, not as much horsepower and on the low end too. And then if you want the low end torque, right, you got to pay a price premium. You think that's how they would do it. So that part's pretty strange if you ask me. Getting a little bit less lucky with this in terms of the lights. Hit all the lights this time versus... So, that is going to make the fuel economy not as good on this with it because it's just such a short run. But You know, as I say, it is what it is. I hate this, how Ford's things... Like, I like the visibility, but like, 
this, if it was just low all the way across would be better because then you could actually rest your arm up there. I guess the power's good. It's good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know which engine I'd go for. I think maybe it might it might come down to just capacities. Right? Do you want the extra I mean this has like barely more gross vehicle weight rating, but it's probably because the engine weighs a little more. Pay a little bit more towing capacity that this has. I noticed though the, the dealership has a lot of six eights and they don't have a lot of this is the only seven three that I found. So I'm wondering if you know resale might be better than the seven three because there's not as much demand for the 6.8. Don't know on that, right? Yeah, the fuel economy reading's just, it's gonna be less, but again, we did a lot more stopping in this, so we're gonna be at like 11 point, so maybe, but maybe the 6.8 is more economical, but we also got really lucky with the lights. So yeah, 11.6, so a mile per gallon less. Let me know which engine you choose, 6.8, 7.3. For me, I don't know, probably 7.3.